Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So with the rollout of Build 26100 last week to the Canary and Dev Channel Insiders, as I mentioned in that video, which will be in the end screen, Build 26100 is the potential build that Microsoft intends to release to manufacturers. So basically, it's the possible RTM build for Windows 11 version 24H2, which is this year's annual feature update. Now, even though Microsoft is focusing a lot more on new features and bringing a lot more AR into Windows 11 24H2 later this year, it seems though that they will be keeping a legacy component of the OS that's been around now for quite some time. And it's the old or legacy volume mixer that will still be available. And this was spotted by Xena over on X and the old volume mixer is still in build 26100 which as mentioned Microsoft uh, there's a strong possibility that's going to be released to RTM which means the old volume mixer will still be available in the annual feature update 24H2 of Windows 11 later this year. So just to give you an idea as to what I'm talking about currently in version 23H2 as an example if I head to my quick launch or quick access menu here we get the volume slider for my master volume. And then if we click on the select a sound output, here we can select output device, spatial sound. And here we get the volume mixer currently where I can adjust the volume of each of those components separately. Now, if we uh, go to our start menu and we right click and we click on run and we enter sndvolume.exe, soundvolume.exe. And I'll leave that down below for you to copy and paste. And we click on OK. This opens up the legacy old volume mixer that's been around, as an example, in Windows XP and Windows 7. But when it was um, the main volume mixer back in the day, uh, it could be accessed from the system tray, where currently we access the new volume mixer now in Windows 11 from the system tray. So um, this is the old volume mixer that um, has still been spotted in build 26100 so as mentioned there's a good chance that microsoft has, de has decided not to deprecate this legacy component of the os although they have been focusing um over the last couple of months as i've posted on deprecating some of the legacy features in the os like uh, wordpad and cortana but have decided to keep this um old volume mixer around in our next annual feature update so thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next one